They are continuing to kill it with all of their retros and bring backs, celebrating the past 30 years, but N1 has a brand new sneaker out. This might be their best one yet. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. This, my friends, is the And One Attack 3.0. It's the third version of the Attack series. The first two were very good, especially outdoors. This one, though, feels incredibly different. They switch things up quite a bit, which is really weird, but also very much needed, especially for them, just because the tech in here, at least the cushion, feels insane. Especially for an And One product, if you've never worn some of their uh, previous models, like the 2.0 or the 1.0, and those were already comfortable, this is hell I look comfortable it's crazy first things first though that traction that looks incredible it also performs incredibly well according to wear testers own brian hinkle he actually has a performance review available on the channel right now so if you wanted to check it out go ahead not the channel the website sorry i didn't mean to say that but anyways the uh outsole right here is multi-directional the only thing that i would say is that it doesn't feel outdoor friendly like all of their stuff which is a little bit weird especially for and one since that's a street ball brand but if you hear that though how pliable. So indoors, you should get a really good bite and grip out of this in any direction that you move. Now the midsole itself is a little bit different than any of the past and one stuff that I've worn. Like I'm not saying that their stuff is uncomfortable by any means. Most of it is very comfortable, but it's also very neutral. This just feels like bouncy and soft in comparison to all their other stuff, which is really weird. So most of the time it's got like, you know, court feels like a priority with a little bit of cushion. So the and one attack 1.0 and 2.0 is actually used in internal footbed that was very similar to boost it was like an etpu this one uh, at least according to their website it says that it's a thermoplastic foam which is a tpu so that's very interesting the only thing though is that it feels just way different like you could actually see it poking through the heel right here this little diamond cutout and it is super soft like it's just like ridiculous it's housed in a more firm lightweight foam so you get a more balanced ride so you're not like mushing all the way to the floor so you get court feel you get stability you get all of that stuff that you need for mobility but you also get impact protection with every step so i think that if you have not experienced this before it might be something that you'd be interested in it's in both the heel and forefoot by the way you can actually see that like it's accentuated or accented right there with that little kind of like potted area so that's where it is in the forefoot there's a separate one in the heel and again it feels very good like i'm not trying to over hype anything i'm just saying that in comparison to both the previous versions of the shoe this one feels the best cushion wise and the other two were awesome like i, was, I think this is the weirdest part i was I was actually really surprised that they switched the cushion up because normally brands don't do that they're like we're going to keep the line like very consistent you know kobe's have what kobe's have gt series has the gt series stuff the lebrons have the lebron stuff and things like that this one though they switch it up and i think it's for the better now they do have some extra stability pieces just in case one of which is this little like lenticular piece that's on the back there it actually has their and one logo i don't know what he's ever like what he's been called like the and one guy or the trash talk guy but like he's back there i think that's awesome some great call out, especially for some of us older heads that have been around for the past 30 years, where we're gonna see that and immediately be like, oh, about to break some ankles. And then we also have the TPU cage in the forefoot area. A lot of us are used to this stuff already. We see it on multiple basketball shoes at this point. So it's there, it does its job and it's nice. It's also a very nice wide base, which is very cool. So if you're a shooter, you're gonna love that. I guarantee it. The materials though are very much in line with the previous two models. So you got a mixture between synthetics, textiles, and leathers. And then all of that is wrapped around like an internal booty sleeve that you can see in the heel and stuff. It's all like completely, um, uh, what would you call this? It's not gusseted, but it's definitely connected. And it's very comfortable, man. It's very comfortable. But basically what we have here is uh, simple textiles right here on the toe. It's very breathable and it's very easy to break in. It's super lightweight. I actually like the way that it looks. And then the mid panel is a ripstop material. Not my favorite thing, but it is on there. It is protected though with TPU. So that's what all the skin fuse overlays are. The back panel is all the synthetic leathers and everything, which looks amazing. Still really like their whole 30 year call out. I think that that's really cool. It also says that down the tongue and everything with the lace loop thingy that's attached to the tongue. The insole is basically what you get in all of their other products. So if you've seen our previous videos and you already know, it's more of a dense ortholite style foam. I think for most of their stuff, this is okay. If you wanted something a little bit better than this though, you can definitely take it out and swap it out for any other insole that you use or an orthotic. And then one of my favorite features on the shoe is an underrated feature in my opinion is right here in the back rear. It's an additional eyelet and that thing right there, when you tie up your shoes, it draws your foot 
it into the back of the shoe for supreme ankle support and containment, which is really what ankle support is. Ankle support is not really a thing. Your ankle is the thing that supports your entire body. Take your shoes off, it's still doing its job. Don't worry, you're not gonna roll your ankle walking down the stairs, even though I've seen somebody do it. I've seen a few people do it. But that's usually because it's a misstep. But yeah, that's what real support in footwear is. It's making sure that the footwear and the foot are working in tandem so they're not separated and everything. It's giving you a one-to-one -one fit. And having something like this really draw your heel into the back of the footbed is perfect for that. I like how they hit it. Where it just doesn't even look like it's there. Yeah. I know. The other ones had them too. So that was like always my favorite feature on each one. This one is probably the most seamless. The other ones had like literal arrows pointing towards it being like, yeah, man, we're drawing your heel in the back, which is cool. It was teaching you what it was doing. This one, a little bit more subtle, much like this colorway. But there's other colorways currently available now. They actually have this red one that looks cool. Shut up and take my money. And if you happen to like that red colorway, they release on July 10th. And if you have not been paying attention to And One right now, I'm pretty sure that you'd want to, especially if you were a fan of them back in the day or you still hoop, because they're starting to do open runs, much like they used to do back in the day with the mixtape tours. So this time it's allowing you as, as a consumer to go and play basketball with them. Their first one is actually going to be in Philly, and that's going to be on July 9th. And and then their next one's gonna be in NYC, and that'll be on July 23rd. So pay attention to their social, go over there, follow them, see what they're up to. They've got cool stuff cooking. This is not the Walmart and one stuff. This is their premium products. The and one stuff that's over in the Walmart side are the affordable products, which I think is respectable. Bingo. But anyways, if you are interested in these, they are available right now. They do fit true to size for anybody wondering. So whatever you typically wear, that is exactly what I would order. Again, they feel very comfortable underfoot. I think that cushion is like a standout feature. Although according to Brian, the cushion and the traction are both standout features. If you've already played in a pair, sound off below and let us know what you think about them in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. And last but not least, a big thank you and shout out to the good folks over at And One for making this video possible. They sent these over my way so I could check them out. And so far, not disappointed. There will be a direct link for them down below in the description box if you are interested it'll just head you over to and one site where you can check them out but with that being said we will catch you guys on the next one so until then have a good one